Hello Deluxe Humans and welcome to 2022. What a year is ahead of us and if you're just a tiny bit like me, you probably made resolutions about how productive 2022 should be and what you want to achieve this year. For my design process this year, one software will be more important than ever, which is Figma. Of course, Figma started as a tool for user experience design, but it has become so versatile that we are using it for virtually everything else. For illustrations, logo design, we even planned a short film with Figma, but that's a topic for another video. The main reason why Figma is such a powerful tool today is because you can power it up with custom plugins. And here are five plugins that I could not live without in 2022. Number one, better font picker. The amazing part about Figma is that it comes with almost every Google font pre-installed. So you have a huge selection of fonts that you don't need to have on your computer necessarily to design with and to play with. And because of this long list, it can be a little bit tough sometimes to pick the right font for the right design. Enter Better Font Picker. Just like you know it from other design tools from Adobe or even Microsoft Word, Better Font Picker shows you a preview of the font you want to select in the font list. No more guessing or wild scrolling around to find that handwritten font that you want or that sans serif. No, now you have a preview in your font list. Better Font Picker is a super cool tool that works both on the desktop app of Figma and also on the web. Also, it can be a little bit sluggish sometimes, especially if you have a lot of fonts installed on your system. So that's my first plugin I can't live with in 2022, Better Font Picker. Number two, Figmoji. So here's my favorite keyboard shortcut, which works on any Mac. It's Control Command Space. If you hit these three buttons at the same time, it will open a context menu from which you can select all emojis and special characters. This is super cool if you want to enrich your emails, notes or social media posts with emojis, just like you know it from your phone. But it does not work in Figma. Ooh. The main reason for that is how Figma processes text, which is a little bit complicated and I'm not going to talk about. What I'm going to talk about is a plugin which solves this, Figmoji. When you install Figmoji, you have a full emoji selector, which allows you to drag and drop emojis right in your Figma designs. At the moment, Figmoji only works with the Twitter emojis. So if you're a fan of the Mac or the Samsung or Microsoft emojis for some reason. I think they are working on an implementation of that right now. Twitter emojis is the game and yeah, maybe it's going to change in the future. Number three, remove BG. So the main reason why I would still open up my photo editing software these days is to remove image backgrounds. Not anymore. So here's a plugin that is super handy and works in 99% of all times. It's called Remove BG and it allows you to remove backgrounds using the power of artificial intelligence. There's an AI behind Remove BG that recognizes the main object in your photo and just removes everything else. It works pretty well in 99% of the cases. It does an amazing job. Sometimes you have to help a little bit, but for most cases you can really rely on this plugin. Number four, tiny image compressor. On the web, it's all about speed, especially after Google's 2020 update that takes the website speed into account when it calculates the search result page rank. Tiny image compressor allows you to export your assets from Figma in the best possible quality, but the lowest possible size. Unlike the others, Tiny Image Compressor is not a free plugin, you have to pay for it. If you are creating a lot of websites or have to export a lot of assets, this will definitely be worth it. And if you just want to give it a spin, there are 15 exports for free, so you can just give it a try. Number five, Skudad. Skudad is probably 
the first plugin I ever installed on Figma and also my favorite, which I'm using almost every day. SkewDead adds a skewing function to Figma, allowing you to skew objects, boxes, etc in any angle you like and in any orientation you like. This comes in super handy if you want to create isometric layouts or mockups. I will show you in next week's video how this can be done and how you can create an isometric mockup of let's say a box for a client design really easy. The cool thing about SkewDead is that it keeps the editing capability of the objects that you skew. So you can still edit text or change box dimensions even when the object is skewed with SkewDead. I hope you found these plugins as useful as I do. Of course, I am going to link them down in the description. So make sure you give them a spin and let me know in the comments how you like them, if they are helpful for you or if you have another plugin that really helps you to be more productive in Figma. If you found this video helpful, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Until then, bye.